Okay, YouTubers, so over the past few months, I actually got a ton of, like, um, hair accessories and stuff from eBay, and there's one of them, but this is actually one that came broken, which was really sad because it was cute. It was a hair claw. It was super cute, but, of course, I already... The seller refunded me since it was damaged, but here's the rest of the stuff. I don't know if... I think this was gotten in February. I think I got this one a while ago, but I don't think I've vlogged about it. It's a it's a pom pom period. Um, hair scrunchie and it's super cute. And this was actually a bit more expensive, but I got this on eBay, so I haven't actually worn this much yet. Actually, I'm just showing you one of each. Some of them I actually got multiple because. <clears throat> Well, these, some of these are pretty cheap, and they might break, and I actually want to give my friends some, so... <laughs> Here's actually the same type of bow. These are pretty much mass-produced in China. I got a black one. You can see right here. And here is a hair barrette. If it would just focus. And another hair claw. This is a pro hair claw. This would be great for during the summer because I clip all my hair back with this. And here's a butterfly hair claw. I like these. Actually, I'm using. I've been doing this kind of layered hairstyle where I clip some of my hair back. Um, I'll stick a little photo on the video here so you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, this is a butterfly hair clip I got. I actually got a few of these hair scrunchies because well. Guess what? Visited my doctor. They told me I'm like overweight and I have like fatty liver. My liver isn't damaged yet, but I need to go exercise. So I bought a few of these hair scrunchies so I could tie my hair back to exercise. Let's see what else? I got a smaller <coughs> pearl hair clamp right here. I also do the layered type hairstyle with this. And here's something. Actually, this is not from eBay. I guess she got this on AliExpress, but this is a pro hair barrette. It's got this like pinkish gold silver tone, and I also do a partial one because um this isn't as big. It's like a tinier hair barrette, see compared to the other one. So yeah, that's been the hair accessories I got recently. All right, so you guys. If you've been following me on social media, you'll probably know my old 10-year-old PC died. You know, it was like so old and laggy and it still had a floppy drive in it. The only thing I upgraded in it was this 8-year-old graphics card. And also hard drives for storing my photos. But anyways, since... Actually, that computer didn't really break, but one of the, dis one of the DVI ports on my graphics card broke, so it's like... Now obviously I use two monitors for video editing and photo editing because that's very useful. So here's my new computer. It's from CyberPower PC. And it uses a Cooler Master N300 case. So this right here is a manual fan controller which I added myself and right here is an Anchor USB 3.0. Uh, let's see, port for the front here. This is usually where the floppy drive goes, but I just used it for that since the motherboard supports USB 3.0. And I also replaced the case fans in there. It used to be the really blue ones from Cooler Master, but those fans made a really high whining noise for some reason at uh, full, full speed, and they weren't very efficient, so I replaced it with the Arctic Cooling F12 fans inside. So now let's go inside the computer and show you around. So, I actually originally wanted to install two um, Arctic F12s on the top, but I actually didn't have enough clearance, so I had to remove one of them. I actually have an extra fan. But anyways, let me show you around the inside of here. As you can see, here's four hard drives. Uh, one, there's a one, two terabyte hard drive that came with a computer, which I'm not using right now, so I just unplugged it, but I just left it docked inside. You can see it's mounted using different screws over here. So the top two of my photo backup drives, I mirror them by hand, and they back up my photos, and the fourth drive right there is a random storage. And the OS itself is actually installed on a SanDisk SSD, it's the SSD Plus, so not the best one out there. Wow, it's really dusty instead, I gotta clean it off sometime. Um, anyway, that's where the OS is installed. And it's a pretty fast SSD. I used to use hard drives, but now that I've gone SSD, it's like, whoa, that is so fast. 
So yeah, <laughs> I might get another one, but still, regular hard drives are still good for storage because SSDs, well, well, they have benefits, but uh, normal hard drives are still better for storage, but not for speed. So, and you probably see something wiggling in there. I actually have a sticky note on each drive, so I don't get confused on which drive is which again. Like when I pulled them out of my old computer. <sighs> So that right there is an MSI graphics card. It's a GT NVIDIA GTX 970. And there's a, I don't know if you can see in the back there, that's a, that is, how much RAM was it? 32 gig DDR4 RAM. HyperX, no idea what brand that is, but anyways, and there's a CPU. Um, I originally had the Intel stock cooler on here. Which actually did a horrible job at cooling, by the way. Um, let's see. I did some stress testing and my CPU reached like 70 degrees or something and my... Well, 70 degrees Celsius and my um, ambient temperature in my house was actually around 14 degrees Celsius that day. It was freezing cold. So... Yeah, it's gonna overheat during summer, obviously, so that's why I switched it out, and also, since I do voiceovers for my videos and stuff, I need the system running pretty quiet. From my desk, I actually couldn't even hear these fans running that mo much anyways, not, at least my microphone can't pick it up. I mean, of course, now that I'm next to my computer, you can obviously hear, hear the fans running here. Anyways, so what did I replace heatsink with? This is an Arctic uh, liquid cooling 120. And it includes this extra large radiator, extra wide radiator right here. If I could get my flashlight to stay so I could sh show you. Well, I can't get my flashlight to stay, but. Here's my hand. You can see how wide this radiator is. And there's a fan pulling air in and pushing air out. And it is a all-in-one closed-loop liquid cooler, so there is a liquid tubes running from the CPU to this, and the heat block actually is pretty big, so it, it does a really good job. My under load, from what I found, even with my case fans like running like um, maybe 60% or less, uh, my internal temperatures were actually not getting over 50 degrees on the CPU, 50 degrees Celsius, and and these fans don't even um, spin up. So they stay at the slow speed. So yeah. Anyways, uh, as for my processor, it's not an overclock kind. Um, it's a 3.2 gigahertz. Uh, hold on, let me go check my specs again. I totally forgot what, which one it is. Okay, just check the specs. It's actually an Intel Skylake uh, i7 quad core processor, 3.4 gigahertz, and it's a 6700 model, so it's a non K version, so there's no overclocking. But I don't plan on overclocking, this is fast enough, and you probably already know I don't play any games, so. But Photoshop and Premiere Pro is actually pretty resource intensive, so. I still need the processing power, but I don't need that much. You can see there's my top fan running. As for down here, it's a, I don't even know what brand that is. 800 watt power supply. Um, I actually have a, there was a pretty limited USB 3.0 ports in the back. So I actually added a, in tech, I think it was called. Uh, it's a five port USB 3.0 uh, PCIe X. PCIe card and I don't think I actually installed or something else. Anyways, uh, this is how I'm running the internet. It's a TP-Link uh, 2.8 gigahertz uh, wi USB 2.0 Wi-Fi card because um, my dad actually had a uh, Ethernet over power line set up but those adapters are over 10 years old and only, only getting like 10 megabits per second which is lower than our home's uh, DSL speed, so I, even this Wi-Fi beats that speed by a ton. Okay, so other stuff I got for my computer is obviously, well this, this is a new keyboard, this is the Logitech Wave keyboard, and I can tell you it's very ergonomic. You can see it is actually a, 
Rich going up over here. So it actually matches up your finger, finger length. And I also got this Logitech keyboard, I mean mouse, because um, my old Kensington trackball broke. So this is pretty much a trackball mouse with a thumb. It's a little bit different from my old one, but yeah, I like it. I like trackballs, I don't play with games, but this is great for video and photo editing as it's uh, very accurate. And as for this is a 3M like wrist rest, which is, um, I don't think it will be good for regular mouse, but with this kind of trackball, I could rest my arm on here instead of my desk and it feels a lot more comfortable. And it's gel, as you can see, it's like squishy. So, so yeah, that's my computer setup. So I don't know if you remember this or not, but back in last November, I actually got a free metal print from Adorama Picks, but I've actually <laughs> neglected all this time to hang it up somewhere because I've been lazy and I just, ugh, you know. But recently I hung it up along with my other photos in my bedroom. Let me just show you around. It's pretty dark today. It's still raining outside. That's why I'm shooting vlogs and I'm actually going to go edit this vlog later because, well, I know I have to exercise, but obviously I can't go for a walk right now. It's raining hard. Well, it's going to help California's drought though. See? So let me show you my pictures. El Capitan from Yosemite, Cook's Meadow of Half Dome from Yosemite, um, here are four photo frames, um, that was from Trinidad, California on my, uh, drive up to Canada a few years back if you remember, that's Mission Peak in Fremont. This is Point Roberts, Washington. If you looked at my Canada post, you'll know this is like an island um, town because uh, all three sides is surrounded by the Pacific Ocean and the other side is Canada, so island town. <laughs> and this is, um, well, I forgot what lake it is, but this is from Lassen Volcanic National Park. And another Yosemite photo right here. You probably can tell I love Yosemite very much. It is a very nice place. And right now you're probably wondering, hey Sunny, um, above the radiator, why didn't you just put a thin mount fan? Well, I did try that on the computer. This is a 15 millimeter thick fan. This is as thin as they come. And anyways, it still wouldn't fit up there. So <laughs> so now I have a second extra fan for my computer. Maybe for future build. I don't know. I was really hoping to add this because it's got um the blue LEDs on there. And I have a tendency to forget to turn off my computer. So this would actually tell me if it's on or not. <laughs> Cause you probably saw earlier my computer is actually pretty dark right now since I pulled out the blue LED cooler master fans cause they were loud. But yeah, um, I don't know. I was thinking about, um, getting a few 12 volt eBay LED, soldering them onto a fan connector and putting it inside. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I do a lot of DIY electronics, so I know how to build circuits and stuff. <laughs> so I might do that, but that's a later project, not for right now. And before I forget, um, this is towards the end of the vlog. I almost forgot. <coughs> Anyways, my Logitech keyboard did come with this uh, mouse. And I didn't actually need another mouse, but for some reason, Amazon had the mouse and keyboard kit priced actually less than the keyboard only. So like, okay, I got a free mouse for $3 less. So it's like, yay. <laughs> I don't know why they did that pricing point, but anyways. No, oh. alright. This is my new mouse, and I have a really big hand, and you could probably tell. Um, it's really tiny in my hand, so I don't like these mice. It's like a really old Logitech mouse I have. I don't even have the receiver anymore because I think it broke. I don't know why I still have this mouse in my collection, but this actually fits my hand nicely. See, and of course I have my trackball mouse, which is actually bigger than all oh, these. Let me just move my microphone out of the way. 
So as you can see, this is my trackball mouse and well, this fits my hand perfectly. It's huge, as you can see. So I love this trackball a lot and I like my old Logitech mouse. Um, I remember using it, um, I haven't used this in years. I don't know why I still have it in my in drawers anyways over here. So I don't even have the receiver for this anymore. It's like really old. You could probably see how scratched up it is. And this new one, maybe I'll use it with my laptop or something, but hey, it's tiny. But it's not as tiny as one of those really small laptop mice. Let me show you a really tiny one that I have. This one's actually uh, from Sony. I got it for free during a promotion last several, oh, very, very long ago. So uh, as you can see, that is a uh, even smaller mouse. <laughs> So it has finally stopped raining today and it'll come out for a walk and exercise a bit. Um, today is April 10th, yesterday was April 9th, that's why I showed you all the computer stuff and... Actually no, actually some of that video clip was actually shot last month or... Hmm, maybe a few days ago, I forgot. But yay, it stopped raining. It's actually gonna be sunny pretty soon, so... Alright, so it is Monday now and I'm on a Royal Del Valley Trail taking a walk because, well, like I said, I need to exercise. Very cloudy today, actually. But at least it's not raining. We're right next to the highway, right across. I think this is a Royal Del Val Valley or something. Uh, I think that's what it's called. This, at least that's the trail we're on. Maybe you recognize this from a past walk I've done. That, um, the Sky Bridge over there is, uh, Las Positas Boulevard here in Pleasanton. Just, we have, like, miles of walking trail here, so it's a great place to exercise and be in nature. Or well, some, or well, sort of, certain parts. There is, uh, as you can hear, there's a lot of highway noise with the cars driving by. Passing by the stupid DMV now, which I had to wait three hours to get something done last time. <laughs> So, this is a canal here. There's several running through Pleasanton. Since California is getting so much rain this year, look at the aloe vera we have growing in the front yard. There's a flower now growing out of here. I've actually, I think it's the first time I've actually seen it grow a flower on the aloe vera. A ton of flowers, I mean, you probably saw from our trail, there's actually, um, the wild grass is growing like crazy. <laughs> our orange tree is actually, um, blossoming too. There's a ton of flowers here and it actually smells really nice. I wish I could send you the smell through YouTube, but uh, sadly I can't do that.